Hello and welcome to our video tutorial today. Let's talk about audio. You know, audio is a very important part of our videos, obviously, but you'd be surprised how many people ignore the audio. They use inferior mics, they use inferior equipment, makes themselves sound like they're in some kind of a tin can or, or some kind of echo chamber. But you know, when you make a tutorial or make any kind of uh, video production where you speak, it's very easy to mispronounce words. It's very easy to stammer. You know, you can get rid of all those mistakes without having to do your project all over again. How do we do that? Well, it's quite simple. I'm using Vegas Pro from Sony. Uh, you, you could also use Vegas uh, Movie Studio as well. And most all software uh, packages would have the ability to cut out certain segments of your audio, in other words, to, to take out some of those mistakes. I'm going to play a little segment here and show you one of the mistakes that I made that I, I really would rather get rid of. And it's going to import our pictures. We'll wait just a moment while it does that. I don't really want to wait a moment while it does that. That's kind of just non-essential. So how would I fix that? Well, first of all, let's open up our timeline here and make it bigger by using our top scroll button. And right here is the phrase that I want to get rid of. And if you're in any question, you can play it again. Let's go backwards and go forwards. Now we're backing it up here. You notice uh, I was able to go backwards and forwards and uh, I'm using shortcut keys. If I press the J key, I go backwards, press the K uh, button to stop and press the L to go forward. And this is the phrase that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to position my marker right here. Position my scrub marker right there and I'm going to press the S key to split it right there. And then I'm going to position the marker right there, press the S key again and I'm going to split that again and I'm going to delete this section. You notice it keeps a, a blank space there and there's two different ways. I can either drag this over to uh, correct it or I can leave it back up here. Let me back up and show you another way we can fix this. Let's undo move. Let's undo this other thing. Let's undo delete. Okay, now we have our clip back again. And this is the beauty of uh, non-destructive editing. I mean, you can just back yourself up if you made a mistake, go forward again. But we're going to go up here into one of our options and click on the auto ripple effect. What does that do? Well, watch this. When I right click this and delete it, Boom, this track automatically fills up the gap so there's no gaps in it. And this is especially useful if you have a number of clips on the right hand side of this instead of all, all manually moving everything over and worrying about get things getting out of sync. Everything will move back over and uh, I suggest that you use the auto ripple. There are some times that you want to take that off when you might want to manually move things around. Let's listen to this again now and see what it sounds like. Okay, and I've taken out the, the extra snippet that I didn't want in there. And you can do this for a little stammer. You can do this for all kinds of things. You can get right down to the nitty gritty and take individual words out or even beginnings of words. And it's such a nice way to uh, polish up your audio uh, performance here and make you sound like a million dollars and uh, take your mistakes away so that no one ever knows you ever made a mistake. So these are some things that... 